Hey guys, we are back with some more Seattle Emerald Empire franchise mode. And I really just think that right off the bat here, to start out the episode, I think that one more year of tanking would be beneficial for this team because we really don't have too many quality prospects. We have Foot, we have Zadina, we have Borchuk, really no one else. So what I want to do here, I want to play a little sneaky here. I'm going to trade Vatanen. And I'm going to trade, let's say, Coco and Jorgensen, Jorgensen to Arizona. <laughs> because their draft pick value is really not all that high right now. Actually, it's pretty much at normal value. If we can get that, if we take a look at their goaltending situation right now, <laughs> 74 overall is Stuart Skinner. I'm pretty sure that's why they lost so many games. Their defensive core, not that impressive besides Ekman Larson. They do have some good prospects in there. And then uh, their four core, nothing special either. So I think they're in for another rough year if they don't get a goaltender. But if they do, by chance, get a goaltender in free agency, uh, do I really want to make this trade now? Yes, I do. <laughs> so that is done. We are officially in tag mode. I've already offered max contracts to two players. Joffrey Lupel, I believe, is one of them returning. And we also have those prospects that we still need to see if we signed. And then uh, we'll go into the regular season and see... Ah, uh, we lost out on Galliardi. Please. Yes, we got Lop. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's what I like to see. And Lupel and Niederberg and Smeed. Okay. But that, uh, I think that trade will really benefit us. I really do. Unless by chance Arizona signed a goaltender. <laughs> then they might be better, but we'll see. Let's get to the beginning of year number three. All right, we are in year number three now. Let's check out the growth for our guys. But more importantly, for right now, we're going to check out if Arizona is still technically considered a rebuilder, it looks like they signed someone because they only have 1.7 remaining in cap. Ooh, they have Patch already now. Okay, did they get a goaltender? Not so much. They have lack. But, I don't know. I, th I think they're still kind of eh. I mean, they have Vaughn in that there now in the defensive core, obviously, and they have Patch already. I still think they're in for a little bit of a rough se season, so. But we could always flip that draft pick if needed. Maybe send uh, send a fourth round pick their way. That's probably not going to do it. Let's send proposed trade. <laughs> we got Eddie Lag from the Arizona Coyotes. Let's check out the growth. Roster moves, let's see. So Brodine is an 84. Puglia is an 81. Brown's an 81. Uh, JT Brown, that is, so... He grew quite a bit there with the exact potential. Deno. I mean, I would imagine that's statistical. Uh, as I was saying, Deno with 81. Pulak with 80. Boucher is now an 80. Uh, Tierney with a 79. Kosarenkov is a 79. We are going to be playing him for sure this year. Third line scorer. Or was it checker? Third line checker, Okay. And uh, Pete Boychuk, our star defenseman, top six. He's getting the. He's gonna get the time. He's gonna get the time. And Hardigan, seventy nine overall, third line checking forward. Very nice. And Zadina, depth forward. Let me know what we should do with Zadina. I feel like he would benefit from one more year in the AHL. Lupul Cop. And. Goaltenders, let's see. Corpusalo is an 87 overall. Wow. I told you it gets good, boys. <laughs> Even uh, with limited amount of time to grow. So, Lop. And then Vorobiev is a 66 currently. So, he's taking his time. And uh, it's a good thing we got Lop as well. Defenseman, Foot, and Lilligren. Lilligren is a 75. Petrovich is a 74. Kovalchuk is a 72. Malkin is a 70. All right, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's send down Lupul and... Who is the defensive guy? Smeed. Yep. For the Miners. 
It looks like we are short one forward. We'll send down Pelic, and we'll call up. Ooh. I guess Sternheimer will help out with the tank. <laughs> sure. Best lines. Let's see what it does. Boucher, Deno, Brown. Lawton, Tierney, Brown. Hardigan, Dezingle, Kosarankov, and then Sternheimer, Kopp, and Zadina. And again, let me know what we should, we should do with Zadina in the regular season. Brodeen, Puglia, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him yeah I'll put him here and then Ryan Pulik will be with Pete Boychuk and then McIlrath and Ulet power play Boucher Deno Brown Pouliot Pulak let's give uh we'll we'll yeah we'll leave Boychuk right there with Brodine Brown Tierney and. Yeah, we'll leave these guys off the power play for right now. Just because I don't want it to affect their growth too much. Yep, that looks good. Uh, that looks good for the most part besides Zadina. Alright. I think I'll get... Kosarenkov's got a good defensive category for, for his overall... Hardigan's really physical. 90 body checking. Wow. <laughs> he might be pretty good as a, as a penalty killer. We'll just leave that alone for right now. I'm not going to start the regular season in this video. We're going to play a preseason game so we get a, get a feel for our rookies. Like Kosarankov, Zadina, Hardigan, and Boychuk. So that'll be it for that. And let's get to our first preseason game for this year. And no, well, nah, I'll, I'll leave Brodine as an alternate. I, I still don't really feel comfortable giving any captain to this team. Dano, and then we'll give it to JT Brown. He had a pretty good year last year. All right, so there you go. And let's get into a preseason game here against the Edmonton Oilers. But not before we send out the scout really quick. Because I forgot to do that. View draft class. I guess the WHL is where we're going. And uh, Danny Henrich. Yep, WHL. De Silva, WHL. Abbott, WHL. Yep. Mapletoff, WHL. Mowers, WHL. Hamill, WHL, McLeod, WHL, Cardwell, WHL, Richter, WHL, yep. <laughs> so, that name right there is awfully close to Hensick. <laughs> so, uh, I I'm, I'm thinking uh, he's our potential first overall pick, <laughs> if we get it, you know? So, I think uh, another... Year of tanking is definitely in the works. WHL, four, it's six weeks. There we go. So let's get to that game against the Edmonton Oilers. Let's go. First period, two goals for Ryan Strom on Jonas Kuprasal. Second period, all right, Connor Brown with a goal on Lucan in. Third period, here we go. All right, here we go. Game against the Edmonton Oilers in the third period. Down by one. Let's try to, let's try to get this win here for... Play for pride, as, as the be a pro coach would say, from uh, from NHL 17. I guess he still says it in, in, in 18 as well, given that uh, it's pretty much the same thing. But, uh, oh, JT Brown almost had a breakaway right there on, on Matt Benning. Graba, down low for Lucic. Man, we're being outskilled. <laughs> Lucic for Graba. Man, McDavid. Benning. And there you go. Recovered by Brown, but broken up by Connor McDavid. And he gets it to Griba. Let's get the second line out there now. And that's going to be covered up by Corpusalo. Lawton, Tierney, and Brown. Let's see what they can do. 
Let's take my Puglia over to Lawton. And taking my Benson over to Russell. Back to Benson. He takes it in the zone. Looking for space. He goes around the net. Finds Gawanke on the point for Russell. Back to Gawanke. Him and Benson play catch. He dumps around. And that'll be taking my Puglia. But taken instead by Howden. And Strom loses it. Only temporarily. Russell down to Benson. Man, this is absolute dominance by the Edmonton Oilers. As Seattle cannot get anything going. And here's the rookie line. Hardigan and Kosarenkov are out there with Dezingle. The and then as well as Pete Boychuk, number three. As Kosarenkov goes up the right wing. He takes that. Gets it on net for Hardigan. And Hardigan, number 69 apparently. Gets it over to Boychuk or to Pulak. Back to Boychuk. Boychuk with the shot and that's going to be saved by the Edmonton Oilers goaltender. And that is going to be the first shot we have had all period. <laughs> By the rookie Pete Boychuk. As he tries to move it up to Dezingle and does. Dezingle with the shot. That is going to be whiffed. As it was blocked by Russell. And let's get the fourth line out there now. Phillips Adina. Terrainen shoots that on that. Corpusala with the big save. And Sternheimer. He's going to dangle that one. And he's actually going to manage to take it into the zone himself. The 65 overall. And we're going to have a power play here drawn by Sternheimer. He's uh, making a name for himself. <laughs> Early on in the season. Dano. With the face off. Win. <laughs> Back to... I was trying to go to the point there. I don't know what happened. My thumb might have slipped. <laughs> All right. Another face off. Philip Deneau against Connor McDavid. He wins it. Over to Pulak. Pulak with the shot on that. And that will go no further than Pouliot at the blue line. Pulak back over. Tries to find Deneau, but finds an Edmonton Oiler who clears. And I meant to get the second line out there, but first line's still out there for some reason. Guess I might have pressed the buttons too many times. I don't know. <laughs> Pouliot gets that up to Boucher. Boucher shoots that, and that's going to go in. And I believe that's the first time we're hearing the goal horn here in Seattle. I believe every other game we've watched has either been an away game or we haven't scored. So beautiful power play goal right there by Reed Boucher as he sneaks that by Lucan in top cheese. <sighs> nice shot by him. Let's uh, let's get yeah let's get Zadina out there. Brody and uh, that was not smart. I probably should not have done that. Uh, I was just waiting for Zadina to get out there, but uh, apparently he didn't even get out there. Get off, Brown. Get off, Brown. Come on. All right, number seven. Number seven, back down low. Oh, man. <laughs> you got to move your feet, computers. All right, Zadina's out there, finally. <laughs> With 54 seconds remaining in the third. Brodeen, come on now, looking for space. Find Zadina. Zadina going in. Uh, he gets that in the corner. Tries to go to the point. Tries his hardest, but can't get it past the computer. Corpusalo plays it safe to a roulette. Over to Zadina. Zadina gets crushed, but he feeds Sternheimer. Makes a, takes a hit to make a play. And McDavid, with 23 seconds remaining. Looks like we're potentially going to an overtime here as... Unless someone can do something here in the dying seconds of the period. Will it be Zadina? It will be. Oh, baby. What a sully by Philip Zadina. As he puts Seattle up 3-2 to two with 14 seconds remaining. The clutch factor. Coming in 
For Phillips, it is. Second goal of the preseason as well. Must have had a goal earlier this game or in the first game earlier against Anaheim. And what a Sally. <laughs> yes, I did put that Sally on him. And it boy, does it fit him. <laughs> what a goal. What a Sally. And we have a lead. All right, come on. Oh, don't, don't do this, Pouliot. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Okay, okay. Get it out. Get it out. <laughs> All right. Solid win, boys. Solid win. Come from behind as well. And the clutch goal by Philip Zadina. On the back end, nonetheless. There you go. Goal by Boucher on the power play. And then, uh, of course, the clutch goal by Zadina to win the game. Has not been shown yet. <laughs> and here it is, I believe. Nice camera angle, EA. <laughs> Ridiculous. All right, let's get back to the menu. All right, so that'll about do it for this one. Let me know what we should do in terms of sending people down. Should we send Zadina down to the minors for one more season of seasoning in the AHL? Or should we leave him up here, leave growth up to chance? And uh, what do you think of the draft picks that we have made this past offseason? Let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next one.